I'm not sure.
know that as you'll be writing for free, you gotta maintain focus, you gotta be persistent, you gotta take your school work seriously. You know that Nanohang is known for its legacy of being the best school, but it is not enough being number one. Again, it should, if you guys, because now you're in number one, you should tell yourself that in 2020, because it's 2020, how about we get 20 merits? Did you have merit in 2019? There was no merit. <coughs> so we expect a merit from you guys. 20 merits, can we do it? Can we get 20 merits? Okay, we want 20 merits from you guys, okay? Yeah, it's 2020, just keep it in your mind that it's 2020, I want to be a part of the 20 people who are going to get a merit. Of course you've been here, you've been here, you've done this very well, the legacy is there, but now, what next? You need to advance in the excellence, right? We should do something different. Now we want a merit, 20 merits, you can do it, I get it. So I want us to do a very simple exercise uh, to keep you guys alive. Not saying that you're dead. Not in the literal sense, though. Ah, uh, hi, Kira. Hello, Lara. Hi. So can I get? Hello. Hi. With confidence, guys. Hello. Hi. Yes. Okay. So um, my name is my name is Udana Mereki. I'm a second year student. What are you doing? I study Bachelor of Arts. And political science. Yeah, you can like it. Yeah, you can like it. I'm also a part-time motivational speaker because um, speaking is uh, my passion. Um, it's just very important to the aspect that I'm going to talk about this morning. Um, but before Katolela, do you know this is called viral encephalitis? You don't know it. You've never heard of it. So um, this is a disease that affects the brain. It um, totally destroys the brain. It causes swelling of the brain and all other kinds of um, uh, uh, sicknesses or illnesses in your body. So I have a friend who was diagnosed with viral encephalitis. That was in 2017. By the time he was a Form 4 student, um, no, actually he was a Form 5 student. He was diagnosed with this disease. And you know what the doctors told him? They told him that you should not even try to study or read your books. Or whatever it is that you can do to ensure that you probably want to get a good grade. Right? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hi. What happens is, imagine you go to a hospital and you're a student right now. And the doctor tells you what you need to do there. I don't know, you are not supposed to study at all. Not even, don't even touch your books, don't even think about reading, don't even think about revising. Don't do anything at all that involves you touching your books or reading a few words. You understand? He was told not to read. But mind you, he was a Form 5 student at the time, in 2017. You know what he did? He told himself that he's not going to listen to the doctor. He's not going to follow the instructions because he had a dream, he had a purpose, he had a place where he wanted to go. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so what happened is, he had to study. <coughs> Mind you, he, he disobeyed the doctor's instructions. Again. And obviously, when you disobey the doctor's instructions, what happens? You might probably be there. And my viral encephalitis is a very critical condition that can be found. Six months, what 
imagine you don't you don't see any force or you study that you get the sentence along the way and probably you don't even understand part of the syllabus. But he wrote his final examination. And you know how many points he got? He got 14 points. 14 points. Yes, give him a round of applause. that he was given not to study despite the fact that every time he studied he landed in hospital he had migraines you know migraines who knows about migraines here he had migraines he had a lot of difficulty but he still studied and right now he's a student in the university of Botswana we're doing the same course and he's probably one of the best students that the university could have ever asked so my point is whatever <coughs> circumstance, whatever situation that you have to does not have to define your success at the end of the day. Because I'm talking about somebody who probably would have been dead right now because he was in a very critical position. So don't tell me that you cannot study because you don't eat at home. Don't tell me that you cannot study because your friends don't study. Don't tell me that you cannot study because you had a disease. You have migraine, and the doctor tells you that you're not supposed to study for maybe you should supposed you are supposed to study for at least two hours in a day. Don't tell me that you cannot study because of whatever circumstance that you might have. Because I'm talking about somebody who was on the deathbed, so you have no excuse at all, no reason at all to fail. How nala haile reason yaho ugare no ke paloti because of one two three. When you fail, just know that it is by your course. If either you don't study well, or you don't study smart, or you don't even study at all. And mind you, you are the best school in the country, right? It does not, it, it is not a guarantee that every single student in here is going to be recognized in higher positions. It is not a guarantee that you're always going to be number one. But it is all up to you at the end of the day. Hello? Hi. It is all up to you at the end of the day to say, do you want to continue being position one or do you want to just let loose and fail? The results are not so far to do. Do you know the school called Matasinia? Yes. You know it? Yes. Matasinia was probably in bottom 10, the previous results before that was the It was probably in bottom 10, in bottom 10, in the entire country. But right now, they're in the top 10. I'm talking about a school that was in the bottom 10. But right now, they're in the top 10. So the thing is, it is not always a guarantee. When you're in a position, a certain position at the moment, it is not always a guarantee that you're going to be in that position forever. But then again, at the same time, you are the one person who determines whether or not you want to still remain in the same position or you want to, in, to, to improve or whatever. It is all... What is it that you want to do with your life? That is the one thing that is going to give you motivation. This guy here is a pilot. I'm pretty sure some of you want to be pilots. It is evidence that it is very, very possible, provided you are willing to put in the work. Now, because I love, I love Banabayo, they take their studies seriously. I love students who dedicate all their time and their attention to their schoolwork. I have a little something for them, but because of time, I'll give them that gift after. So so that they shine, so that you see them, they shine. Because with success, whenever wherever there's success, there's appreciation. Whenever you succeed in life, there's always somebody who's going to appreciate you. That is the best feeling ever. So my advice to you guys in a nutshell is to say, believe in yourself, guys. Believe in yourself regardless of where you're coming from, regardless of the kind of family that you were born into. Because Sosanka, the family that you were born into, you did not choose it yourself, right? You just found yourself there. Even your name, you didn't even choose your name for yourself. We just tell you, or whatever your name is. Some situations you don't have control over them. But there are some situations that you have control over them. And one of those things is you have control over your studies. So I give a good excuse and I can say it. That is not a point. Everybody here has the capability 
and the ability to pass. You want to do demerits for the class. It's very possible. Very possible. Very, very possible. The only thing that you have to do is to believe in yourself. Right? Hello? Hi. Guys, you guys can all hear me? Yeah. Alright, so thank you teachers for allowing us to talk here. Uh, so like I said, my name is Ahmed. Uh, Ahmed Babu, I'm 20 years old. I'm a student pilot in Canada. I also run, I also run an NGO called Life in the Sky, where we get young guys like you up flying and we teach you about aviation, how to start and what you want to be. Uh, so how many, of you, how many of you know what you want to be in the future? You want to be a doctor, you want to be a pilot, Okay, that's a good amount of which is good. <laughs> the most important thing uh, to reach where you want to be is finding your passion. And there's two things you need to do. One, it, sometimes it takes a long, maybe like some of you guys don't know where you want to be, that's fine. Finish your form five, so after you finish your form five, you can always do this of different types of things. If you like cars, go to a mechanic shop, ask them, hey, look, I, I like cars. Can I work with you guys for a few days and see how it is? And you find out it's not really for you, then you go somewhere else and you find what, you know, uh, what your passion is about. If you follow your passion, trust me, all the things that you want in life will come to you. You don't have to work extra hard, you don't have to, I mean, of course you have to work hard, but you won't have to go above and beyond to get what you want. Let me tell you a small story that I experienced. When I was a little kid, I used to watch these guys called Blue Angels. The, the US military is display guys, the top of the top. They used to go around and, you know, they would fly planes and get, you know, young people like us. And I used to watch videos of them as a kid here, and I was like, well, I'm never going to see them because they're in the U.S. and I'm here in Botswana. So I was like, well, I'm never going to see them. I never even thought and dreamt of it. But then as I went to Canada to study, guess who shows up at the local air show? The Blue Angels. I never asked for it. I never planned to go to see them. But because I followed my passion, I got to see them. And that's what happens when you follow your passion. How many of you guys want to be pilots here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Determination is very important in what you do. You have to tell yourself, no matter what challenge I face, no matter what obstacles I face, I have to outreach. And when you do plan on your future, don't think about the next year or the next two years. Of course you have to, but think about where you see yourself in 10 years. And where do you see yourself? You see yourself as a doctor. Do you see yourself as an engineer, as a a company. You work towards that goal, and that's how you make it. Not, if you think about, well, I just want to be an engineer, you just end up as an engineer, but nothing more. If you think about what you want to be in 10 years from now, as a big doctor in a, the world's biggest you know, hospital, and you slowly make your way, you meet people that you get your back. You meet you know, different organizations that give you the opportunity to make your better. Two most important things that you need, determination and passion. What? Number one? Determination. Number two? Passion. Okay, now, you guys should believe in yourself. You should always have faith in yourself and that faith in God. You will always trust that His process, whatever you offer, you put in front of you, is something that you need to get better, become stronger. Um, you shouldn't be going to church just because your mother's making you or just because it's Sunday and you have to. You should go to church because it's requires you guys of your soul. When you eat food, what do you eat food for? One, to satisfy your hunger, and one, uh, number two, to nourish your body. That's kind of how you should be for this one. You should be there to nourish your soul, your mind, and your body. It should be something that's inside of you that makes you happy. It should be something that's inside of you that fulfills you. You get me? Yes. Yeah. Parents. Like I said, my parents are never wanted me to be a pilot. I had arguments with them for two plus years. They were fighting with me and it wasn't good at home. But they saw that like, this guy is not going to give up. And like, okay, we have to let him be a pilot, otherwise it's going to reach nowhere. So I did end up being a pilot. Um, your parents, some of you might not agree with me, but your parents know what's best for you. And some of you think, even I was your age, I always used, used to think, my parents don't know what's best for me, I know what's best for me. But trust me, they do know what's best for me. Um, and when they tell you something, it's probably true what they mean. Maybe you don't like the idea they have for you, but trust me, maybe it's, it's probably what's best for you. Most of our parents didn't have the luxury of choosing what they want to do in the future, including my, my parents only had one, one option to survive. They, all, they had to work low paying jobs and make uh, enough money to pay for, uh, pay for food to keep the family. But us, 
as the young generation of today, we have the options of choosing a hundred different careers, a hundred different options in that career. So we should exploit that opportunity and make the best out of it. Now, as the, as the young, I've seen a bunch of young people, and what I've noticed is that the younger the generations, I've seen they have more and more love for each other. The, the, when I was growing up, we used to have a bit of competition between each other, but I, I've seen like, the younger generation, they're not having much competition. They're loving each other, they're promoting each other, and that's what I promote you guys to do as well. Keep loving, promote your standard, if you're going to set up a project, go and help them out, support them, and do that with even if it comes to school, uh, uh, promote them in the school work. If they're doing well, promote them, uh, tell, encourage them, help them with your homework, tell them what to do well, tell them what not to do. Right? Helping your friends, always give your uh, most, whatever you can give, give them the most you can. And don't expect much from them. Give them the most you can. Come back. All these things that you do end up coming back one way or another. When we grow up, for example, a baby, a little baby, he doesn't know much. When we teach him things, that's when he knows, uh, knows what to do and what not to do. If you tell a baby apples are bad, it's going to learn that apples are bad. But are, are apples bad? No. Exactly. When we learn from our community what we do. I urge you guys and teachers to teach each other, to teach each other love, to teach each other, you know, to find your passion and, and, and what you love in life. And that's how you become successful. And that's how you become fine now. Alright? So I just end my talk quickly, very short talk. So I hope you guys learned something. And yeah. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. I believe you brought something. You learn something from what was presented. Uh, but in summary, uh, what they talked about is believing in yourself, focusing, putting more effort in everything that you do, understanding the meaning of life or the reality of life, that we don't choose who you are. We don't choose what we have. We don't choose our families. And they said against all odds, against all challenges, against all situations or circumstances. You should know that you have a future ahead of you. You have a future to live, I get it. And you are the one who has the key to your destination. You have the key to your destination. They are here to talk to you. And I always say to you, learn to listen and get something from what people are saying to you. Because as human beings, we learn everything. And knowledge is something that helps us to board this train called life. Knowledge is what we need. It carries us into the journey. I get about it. So let us learn to listen. Uh, I'll quickly call these three people. They should come to the front. Uh, I'll call these three people because the team in front of you, the team that has just talked to you, they have a token of appreciation for these people. Because they got position one, two, three in the end of year examination 2019. A round of applause. <laughs> the team has a uh, small award for these three people because they got position one. Fako Uwotite from MM3, Kaya Lorato from SG3, and Kutio Kutiamo from. MB3. And tomorrow it can be you. It's always an honor for you to be appreciated for all the things that you do and you succeed in them, right? I wasn't always the brightest student, but I was in the top 10 and that gave me the best feeling ever. So next time I get that, because Ghana, this is supposed to be a competition, right? Next time I get that, we keep them as Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever your name is, whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life, Wiki Demos, next time I want to be the one standing in front of you. 
give them competition so that they buy it from the phone to see again. Happily when I happen, they should understand that it is all in their hands, like I mentioned. Or you are the one who has the power to change your dreams, to change your destination, to improve or whatever it is that you want to do with your life. It's all in your hands. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. So I have a little something here for them. Whatever it is that they want to write, <coughs> and I have a pencil case. Yes, pencil okay. case. And a file. So a file. And this is a globe. And it's very funny, but about you, you never really expect this. But it's important for you to know your world, to know. So that next time when you want to travel to the United States of America, you know where to go, right? Yes. And we have something very, very special here. It's an amazing book. And do you know who wrote it? She wrote it. <laughs> the habit of reading. Yeah, but we wrote about how we, we do a lot of reading from novels, from books, anything. Hello, that Jessica Balaha, we read. So, you guys, you have to read this book. Next time, get back on Agamotto Choice. So many things that you can remember. Remember, you always have to do the Again? Yes. 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 school in the entire country. That's a great thing. But remember the sky is the only limit. We want 20 merits from Nanohan CGSS this time around. So you should be someone who prioritizes excellence. You should be someone who prioritizes uh, empathy for people. You should be someone who lives by the words that President uh, Kennedy, when he was inaugurated, he said that ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. We need you, you're the future leaders. Some of you here, you have some of the greatest inventions. They'll come from you. Some of the greatest theories that have never been invented, they'll come from you. That's all we had for you. And thank you so much for your time. I was very inspired by seeing these people today and hearing to what they were saying. And hopefully this could change us. We could beat the target that uh, our last form threes put. And we could show them that we are way more capable than they see us now. And that's all I have to say, but I hope the school I hope the school brings more people like them to motivate us and keep us in our way so that at the end of the year we can finish successfully. Thank you.